So now that Verizon has C-Band Live, how is it doing for them? What is the plans for the near term? We got updates from Verizon. Monica Alvin, FierceWireless.com. All right, so at the investor conference last week, you know, we covered all this in the podcast, but I wanted to put this in a short, concise form video so you guys have all the the numbers, all the data points, and all the, I guess, the projections for what Verizon is going to do. All right, so the first thing that Verizon stated, this is Kyle Malady, their, uh, I think their CTO, I think. Anyways, he said more than 175 million people are going to have 5G ultra wideband service by the end of the year. The executives are pointing to this number as it does represent essentially the top 46 PA population as it pertains to the national number of people. So if you got 175 million pops, which is how they use this descriptor, uh, by the end of the year, that pretty much covers most of the PEAs in the top 46. So I think there's more than 175 million people in those PEAs, but you may not cover all of them, but you can easily cover all of them if you scale the upgrades properly, which Verizon intends on doing. So they're going to hit that metric apparently, which they say is a year ahead of, ahead of schedule. So Verizon currently has somewhere around 100 million pops with the 3.7 gigahertz spectrum or N77, 5G ultra wideband. So they have exceeded their expectations. They're going to push beyond what they um, what they originally projected. And that's a welcome sign for us as the consumers. They said, we got the 100 million quicker than we thought. Next goal is 175. We have the resources. We have the people. We have the money. I have the equipment and we're out there and we feel good about meeting 175 million population target. We'll see if they can do it and we'll see when they do it. I think they will get there. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, the next tranche of spectrum, which is going to be the BC blocks, that'll be next year. There are some cities apparently that are going to get early cleared. Uh, just as an update, millimeter wave is up in usage 856%. I don't think there's any... Surprise there are shock. People are, you know, getting out and about more. 33,000 millimeter wave sites on air. 856% usage rate is up. Yeah, makes sense. Anyways, um, fixed wireless expansion. This will be the home internet piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they've got, I guess what they're saying here is they're going to move to a standalone 5G network core. Fixed wireless will be on a network slice, apparently. They want to do this because times of usage throughout the day are kind of variable that's interesting i i don't see much details for this if i do find out more about this i'll let you guys know and i will update it at a later time but that is very interesting uh the expectations for the 5g home from verizon 150,000 net ads in the first quarter of 2022 let's see if they get there that's measurable and we should have that information in april stay tuned for more that's about a month away all right so maybe in like the next five weeks we'll know 30 million homes are now covered with the fixed wireless access, 50 million households to have uh, what plans to cover 50 million by the end of 2025. Okay. All right. Four to 5 million customers total. We'll see if they get there in 2025. We'll update that at a much later time. Multi-purpose network. What do you guys think? What do you think about their ambitious goals to get to 175 million pops by the end of the year? What do you think of their increased tra data traffic over millimeter wave and then what do you guys think about their goals do you guys think gonna you think they're gonna get those fixed wireless sub subscribers you think they'll get 45 million you know um i don't know I, I i think they're kind of under shooting there i think they can get more i wouldn't be surprised if they got at least six million by 2025 i mean if things work out for them the pricing is good the product is good the network slicing changes the experience gives it a solid reliable you know performance I think they can get there, but it's, this is on you guys. What do you think? This is all predictive. Your thoughts and opinions are welcome down below. You all have the voice of people, the SMT nation, let your voice be heard. Please do like share and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications that I miss an upload links in the description for my Patreon page, my email and my Twitter handle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.